Hey guys, it's Adam AK Swimming Bird, and welcome back for another Minecraft snapshot. This is 13W16A for Minecraft version 1.6 once again. Now, if you uh, watched my last snapshot update, you might want to go back and do that if you haven't. I talked about a lot of the new things like horses and wool carpet, leashes, hay bales, that sort of thing. In this video, I'm actually going to cover a ton of the new information that came out since last week about horse breeding, taming, uh, zombie horses, skeleton horses, that sort of thing, mules. And the first thing I wanted to say is that if you did watch the other video, you noticed that I tried to breed two horses, but they had armor on. And you will see here that if I try to do that again, uh, it will not work once again because horses with armor cannot breed for some reason at this point. And there's no way to take the armor off the horse as of yet. So if you want to breed a horse, don't put armor on it. Uh, those are for battle. And hopefully in the, the future, like Mo Creatures, there will be a way to take the armor off a horse, like with a pickaxe or something. But yeah, as you can see, these guys are in love, but they can't do anything about it. They have chastity armor on. Now, let's go, let's go over here, and uh, I'm going to show you this. Now, here we have a mule, and this is not a texture uh, swap like I did last time. This is a real mule, and you can get that by breeding a horse and a donkey like in real life. Now, I showed you the wheat way to breed. You jump on a horse and feed it wheat and then they go into love mode. Now the other way to do it without jumping on them is to feed them a golden apple, just a regular golden apple. Uh, the other ones work too, the block golden apples, but this is a little cheaper. And here we have our baby mule. He is adorable. And I'm going to put a chart up on screen because horses can actually eat a lot of different things, a few things I didn't even realize they could eat, such as bread. And uh, each one of them heals a different amount of health and also speeds up growth. So if I feed this mule sugar, he'll grow a tiny little bit, as you can see. But if I feed him a hay bale, he will grow a huge amount, bam, bam, until he is old enough to be ridden and he doesn't want any more, so he bucks. Now, uh, this uh, the food that you feed them has a thing that it also increases, which is taming probability. Now, if you're going to find a wild horse and jump on it, which I can do an example here, if we find a wild horse like this one, and you jump on it to try to break it and tame it, you will have a 0% chance of taming it on the first time you ride it. And once it throws me off here, I can jump back on again, and each successive time that you try to break it, you will get an increased chance by... See, he's a little mad there. Now, your, your chance increases each time by 5%, so eventually you will have a high enough chance of percentage that you will get him. So it's not futile, you can keep riding them over and over, and eventually you will break the horse. But if you were going to breed and feed a baby horse, such as this mule that's escaping over here, uh, it actually increases your probability of taming them. And golden apples are the best way to do this. They increase it by 10%. All the other food increases it by 3% each. So if you, if you do feed a baby up to make it grow a lot faster, you can tame it a lot faster as well. So that is pretty cool. Now, breeding stats, if we look at this mule... So I'm going to go into survival real quick just to show you guys something. Now you'll notice if I'm in survival, you can see the horse's health there on the right. It replaces my food bar. Now these horses probably have different ones. As you can see, this guy's got a few more hearts than the other. Now if I'm going to go to... Oh, they, they didn't actually breed. Let me breed these guys really quick too so we can just get a baby horse and I'll show you. You saw this one had 10 hearts, I believe, and this one had 12. Now here's their baby. I'm going to give it golden apples so that it grows up and loves me almost instantly. Let's tame him, and look how many hearts that guy has. Whoa, he kicked me off, but he should love me very quickly, because he has a very high percentage of being tamed. But you can see that he has what looks to be 26 hearts. Now that's kind of a glitch, but it is showing us that when you breed horses together, they somewhat combine the stats of the parents into the baby. So this baby has a lot more health. He's a bit faster, most likely. He can probably jump pretty high and far. Uh, so yeah, they, they have all these different stats that it's keeping track of. And when you breed them, you can kind of breed the best traits into them, which is pretty cool. So if you have a horse with a lot of health, or you notice they can jump really high, run really fast, that sort of thing, you might want to breed them together to make a nice little baby. And this is even cool too. He's got the color from this one and the spot pattern from this one. And I think that it actually factors into it as well. So that is awesome. Now, uh, taming, we got past that. Horses, some other data about them that you guys might know, not know. I didn't mention that they actually do drop leather, and I should probably just kill one of these to show you. I feel bad because I love all my little horses, but we're going to just get rid of this donkey over here, I guess. There he goes, and he... Oh, he actually dropped the saddle. 
and he might have dropped leather there, I didn't really see. They kind of have a, a chance to drop the leather, it's not always, but basically like how you can get leather from horses. Some other things, if you were to ride a horse into any body of water that is too deep, you will get kicked off and the horse will swim up, so you're going to need to use the leash to bring them across bodies of water like that. Anything below, I think, two blocks, it just kicks you off. Um, some other stats about horses, I'm going to go over here to show you. I have a little course set up for these guys, and I've got my diamond horse. Now, horses, they look like they're about as wide as us, but they actually aren't. They are about one block wide, but a little more than that. So if you were tried to go through like a narrow thing like this, you can't go through a one block passage which is a little frustrating, but uh, I guess it makes sense because horses are somewhat wide creatures. And if you're going to go through, uh, you can, you're can you three blocks high when you're riding a horse, but if you go through a three block high spot, you'll actually start to suffocate. So you got to be very careful about that. And if you go through any transparent block at, at that height, though, you'll be okay. You won't suffocate like leaves and stuff like that. So you don't have to worry about that. And horses can actually be used for a bit of hardcore park horse. Uh, this is a little course I built. Horses can go up ladders while you're riding them, which is pretty cool. And you can do lots of jumping and craziness on them. Let me see if I can, whoa, I completely jumped over both of those. Uh, but yeah, you could you could set up some uh, park horse courses and do some horse parkour. Let me see if I can get onto here. Ooh. Dang, I missed it there. But yeah, so <laughs> have fun doing that. I'm sure someone's going to make a parkour horse with horses. Ugh, that's a mouthful. Um, so yeah, they can climb ladders and stuff. Uh, they jump about somewhere from between 1 and 1.2 blocks to like 5.1. I think I've seen people claim higher. Like this one, he can jump about three or so if I charge him all the way. There he goes, he, a little bit over three, so he can get over here. Some of them better than others, and I will show you some crazy horse jumping speed in a little bit. Uh, horizontally, the, some of them can jump about 11 blocks, so you can go a lot farther horizontally, obviously, than vertically. Uh, they're actually, I've got a thing over here I want to show you. Let me go into creative to fly over there. I've got Epona from my last video, and she is over here ready to demonstrate that horses are actually faster than minecarts, or at least they can be. Uh, it seems like almost all of them are faster. You'd have to have a pretty slow horse to not have it be faster. And I'm gonna wait for the minecart to get over here. I hope that they make donkeys and mules a little slower because those are the ones that will probably be able to carry the saddlebag. So once this minecart goes, we're gonna race it and let's go. I can very quickly outrun the minecart and keep going here and even jump over this stuff and the minecart keeps going. And if you get lazy, you can just have your horse jump in the minecart and go for a ride. <laughs> and uh, this is this is very tricky because the same key to get off the horse is the same one to uh, you know get out of minecart. So you shift and you can get off the horse, but then he's stuck in the minecart. And if you try to hit the minecart, it's very tough because the horse's hitbox is a bit wider. So it's pretty hard to get the horse out of the minecart. As you can see, I failed there. I managed to get the horse out using water, but right now it's a little tough, so be careful if you get your horses caught in minecarts. They could be riding for a while. Now, uh, <laughs> before we get going here, I just wanted to talk about the zombie and the undead horses, because as you can see, I got a mule in-game, which is awesome. But the zombie and undead ones, so far we don't really know how you're going to be able to get them in-game. It might be if your horse dies or gets bitten by a zombie or something cool like that. But right now, uh, you can actually use NBT editors to get them in the game. So I'm going to cut to a world where I have a few of them for you guys to see. Okay, I wanted to also mention that horses do apparently spawn in plains in the wild, but I have yet to see that actually happen. So uh, take that with a grain of salt or redstone for now. Now here are a few skeleton and zombie horses, including a baby one. Uh, I actually had to go in with an NBT editor to change their type to be a, uh, a skeleton or a zombie horse and right now they behave pretty similarly you can jump on them and you can try to tame them I believe this guy might already be tamed so I could probably just throw a saddle on him and we can actually ride him around and he will be behave like normal he's actually pretty quick for a little guy so far there's nothing different about them other than they just look really cool and different but in the future, uh, I hope they will add some of the mo creature stuff, such as zombies and skeletons riding them into battle and that sort of thing. This little baby one's following me around. He's a little baby skeleton. Now, I actually did a few other things using the NBT editor. 
This skeleton horse is a bit different from the others. I edited him so that he has uh, a higher jump height and a higher speed. Now the default was like 0.8 something, so his speed is now 3 and his jump height is now 5. So he is a lot faster, as you can see, uh, than he should be normally. Or maybe he, he might be able to get this, this fast, but right now this is the fastest I've seen on a horse. And then also his jump height is crazy, whoa. Especially his vertical jump height, that's crazy. <laughs> so you can do some really crazy uh, jumps and stuff on this guy. He's taking damage because he's jumping so high. This is insane. And then I actually went and went even farther. I've got another set of guys over here. If you, you're wondering why this is snow, it's because I used a schematic to keep these guys over here. So let's try. This This horse over here has a... I put his health to 100, so he'll survive a lot longer. But his jump height is 10, and his speed is 10. Now these, these values don't indicate blocks. They're just, you know whatever unit they used for these. So I haven't tried this yet, let's see how fast this guy is. Ooh, he actually doesn't seem that much faster. I wonder if it caps at a certain amount. He might have to build up speed. He's still pretty quick though. Whoa, this is crazy. Let's try jumping. Whoa, <laughs> that's awesome. And I'll try to do a vertical jump. There we go. That's crazy, that's his max vertical jump. So it looks like they cap at a certain amount. You could probably go in and edit and make some crazy horses that basically fly when they jump and speed across the land or if I give him like a speed potion effect that would be pretty awesome but anyways that's we don't really know that much yet we'll have to wait till maybe this week we'll get some more info on how zombie horses and skeleton horses are gonna work uh, a few people were complaining that the horses look way better than the other Minecraft animals and that they should be dumbed down to look not as good but I feel like the opposite they should maybe make the pig and the horse and those ones look better to you know go up to the standard of the horses, because I like how they look. A lot of people are, you know, they complain if something looks too much like a mod, and obviously this this was built by Dr. Shark, who works on the Mo Creatures mod, so they're very similar, but I still think they fit well with Minecraft, and I'm happy that they're added. So I'm going to go ride off into the sunset or wherever with my... <laughs> ride off into hell with my <laughs> skeleton horse. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this, and uh, we should have more news on 1.6 hopefully this week. So I will see you guys again for another snapshot. Goodbye! Woo. One other cool thing real quick, if you are to ride a horse off a cliff, let me see if I can do this, and you have your jump charged. This one actually seems like he's still got his jump charge, that's really weird. Okay, if you have your jump charge when you ride off a cliff, you can actually jump mid-air, which is kind of a glitch. So let's see if we can do it here. Boom! Yeah, I was falling through the <laughs> through the air, and I glitched and jumped with him. Uh-oh. Skelly? Skelly? Where are you, little guy? You okay? Oh, there he is. Okay, he's fine. Thanks for watching, guys.